Hello friends, I am Naresh Astolodar and here is predictions of full moon on 12th June 2014. You can see the moon in Jayeshta Nakshatra light greenish color of moon. Moon in Jayeshta Nakshatra Jayeshta Nakshatra, the Lord of Nakshatra is Jayeshta is Mercury. So here is you can see Moon in Nakshatra of Mercury, uh, very clean, and you can see very clean. This is HD video. Let us see the as per Vedic astrology how is the prediction of full moon of Scorpio in Jayeshta Nakshatra. Jayeshta Nakshatra includes uh, Mrug Yoni, Mrug means deer, means uh, very smooth, Rakshas Gan making some quarrel and uh, Adhya Nadi contains gastric troubles so Mercury uh, basically the uh, Jayeshtha Nakshatra the lord of this Nakshatra is Mercury so people will become very talkative communication will increase uh, people talks much with each other and it is to be good to travel in north and west side because when you travel to north the moon is in it's called Sanmukh Chandra means good and when you travel in west then moon comes in uh, moon comes in right side it's, it's, so it's, so good for financial development. Let us see the full moon effects to all 12 signs in this video. For Aries the moon in the 8th house. So not good. Have to take care in family and financial matters. And take care in speaking particularly in family for Taurus the moon in the seventh house so benefit in love matters but have to take care in speaking particularly with your life partner for Gemini the moon in the sixth house so will winning over enemies and benefit from maternal sign. For Scorpio moon in the moon in his own home. For Scorpio is good for regarding health, love matters and financial matters. But have to take care in uh, speaking particularly with your partner for cancer the moon in the fifth house so success in love matters and benefit from the friends for Leo moon in the fourth house give you some stress from property matters otherwise in relationship with mother and father for Virgo, moon in the third house. So, small traveling will give you benefit. For Libra, moon in the second house. So, take care in speaking, particularly in family. For Sagittarius, moon in the 12th house, so makes a very vibrant mind. So have to take care in any important decisions of your life. 
and for Capricorn moon in the 11th house give you success in love matters and benefit from the friends for Aquarius moon in the 10th house so success in business and career matters also benefit from father and also in property matters and for Pisces moon in the 9th house so will give you benefit from small traveling let us see the how is the effect of this Scorpio moon on each planet mm, the who person who have moon in uh, right now moon in Scorpio but person who have Sun in Scorpio for them the moon comes in in their sign on Sun so makes Amavasya Yoga means though there is a full moon but moon, mind will become blank as moon is passing from birth sun and who have a moon in him, moon in Scorpio the moon in his own sign so will give you new vision and success to new ventures who have a Mars in Scorpio Mars and and the moon in Scorpio passing who have a Mars in Scorpio and when moon is passing from from Scorpio so makes a Lakshmi yoga means good for regarding financial matters who have a Mercury for the person who have a Mercury in Scorpio the moon in Scorpio when moon passes from Scorpio they makes very vibrant mind because Moon and Mercury makes Tarangi Yoga. Tarangi means not steady mind. Very vib makes very vibrant mind. The person who have a moon in uh, sorry, the person who have a Jupiter in Scorpio, the moon when passes on Jupiter, which is makes Gaj Kesari Yoga. So good regarding education and law matters. Also benefit from childrens. So it is uh, it is good when moon passes uh, the person who have a moon uh, the the person who have a Venus in Scorpio when moon passes from Scorpio the moon is passing from Venus on Venus so makes Vaibhav Lakshmi Yoga so they will get uh, financial benefits very easily. The person who have a Saturn in Scorpio, the moon in Scorpio when when moon passes on Saturn so gives you unnecessary tension and stress also skin allergy and skin problems. The person who have a Rahu in Scorpio the when moon passes from Scorpio is give you unnecessary tension and stress and also some skin allergy. The person who have a moon, uh, the person who have a Ketu in Scorpio, when moon passes from Scorpio, so makes a Grahan Yoga, so not to take any important decisions of your life. This effect is up to 3.4 days, 3.5 days of this full moon. To improve the bad planetary effects of this full moon, eat green moon and give green moon to pigeons and birds. Also, you can wear green clothes. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Watch for more predictions of our channel. Subscribe channel. Thanks for watching.